Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a while. I've had some crazy weeks at school, and then the clinic where I work packed up and moved so that the clinic could be remodeled. Basically, I was coming home, reading a chapter or two at night, and passing out. But I am back, and today I am going to show you my October TBR. And for October, I had already previously declared it in my video last month, this is going to be my finish it month. So books that I have started and have not finished. And to, to start that off with this month, well, I'm not reading this book yet because my husband's still in the middle of it, but it is The Fires of Heaven by Robert Jordan. And this is in his, the fifth book in his Wheel of Time series. I had read a chapter or two and then put it down. For me, I've been taking this book a little bit slower, but my husband is doing a reread of the series in anticipation of the show coming out on Amazon and he asked me to hurry up and finish reading it. We've been rebuying the book so he can do his reread. So once he is done with this, then I am going to pick it up and read it this month so then we can talk about it. And then The Wheel of Time follows, well, it follows a variety of characters, but uh, the three main boys are Rand, Perrin, and Matt. The next option on, I should probably say before I begin that these are all books that are options for me to read. Since I am a mood reader, I might read them, I might not. We'll see how the month goes. So then I also have The Light Brigade by Cameron Hurley. This is the last big book, uh, or this is the last library book on my shelf currently. And once I'm done with this, then I will have no library books, which is kind of a weird thing. But I get, I do that a couple of times a year because I do try to read more in-house, which is what this month is. And if you could see that that shelf back there that's my library bookshelf and so you can always see like how many books i have out from the library that book though over there on that far side is actually a school book not a library book i just didn't have room on my school shelf down below in the light brigade this is following a character named deets as they have joined a war against the martians and they it, this is living in a time or that this is in the future where corporations run everything and if you're with a corporation you either have citizenship with them or you have residency and so citizenship gives you full rights to learning and education reading what you want residency means you get to live there but you can only get your news information from the corporation and then if you don't if you're not attached to a corporation they call you a ghoul or a ghost and you're basically living in poverty where you're starving. And then I have Less Than Charming. This is a book that was gifted to me. I think my parents met the author and had her sign it and gave it to me. But this is based off, uh, the premise of this is all of our fairy tale characters are real. They just live in a world by themselves and the more we tell stories about them, that shapes their personality and changes it. So um, if you stick with the traditional tellings, then they have very traditional personalities. But as we know, authors like to play with, uh, authors like to play with fairy tales and change per personalities. And so having those personalities like that can screw with the characters' heads and causes some chaos for them. And in this book, we follow Princess Sophia, who is one of the 12 dancing princesses, and she is a journalist. And she wants to go, and she wants to go to a big festival and do investigative journaling, whereas normally her boss wants her to go do like fashion and dancing since her history, but she wants to go and get the dirty details about the Charming family, um, who, Prince Charming is one of those people. So that is where I have left off on this, is she has managed to get to the city to do the assignment that she wants to do. I then have Mr. Penumbrum's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan, and I'm actually near the end of this, so I don't want to go into too many details, but it starts off with a young man who uh, starts working at a bookstore because he hasn't been able to find a job with his degree otherwise. And it happens to be a 24-hour bookstore and he works the night shift. And it has some people who 
are kind of interesting because besides being a sec has a section of books where you don't sell people just come in and borrow like I said I, I actually already know how this ends because I cheat I flip to the back of the book when I'm enjoying things or when I have questions I'm like wait and I want to know what the answer is right away but I haven't actually finished like read the ending so this that's why this is on my list and this is a one of the cool um, copies where this is all solar or it's glow in the dark sorry that's what I'm trying to say it's glow in the dark so when the light is off those books glow and then I have a chunker which is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss this is the second in his King Killer Chronicle trilogy and I'm about a fourth of the way in we're still filling, following Quaff and he is at school still I'm kind of hoping that he leaves school in this book since there's a lot of his other history that I'm kind of interested in following. Next I have The Well of Ascension by um, Brandon Sanderson. This is in the second book in the first trilogy of The Mistborn and my husband read this uh, after I put it down and so he took out my bookmark but I think I was about halfway through. I know that I was at the place where I think his name is Elend? Elend, yeah. So Elend is working to try to put together a functioning new government for their town. So that's one of my goals. Then I have Redheads in Love, and I am actually pretty close to being done. I have like a fourth of the book left. And this is the third book in their series. This is just, it, uh, it's a series that's written by four women. And they have some crazy shenanigans, and it's about uh, it follows the four uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse. In the first book, the four horsemen end up going to Earth and dying, and so their wives inherit the four or their jobs. And they've been in each book, they're trying to get out of the jobs. And so this time, they're trying to do it by marrying somebody new to take over the job, and it's. It's very interesting. I started this in April and then just April was a bad month for me and so I didn't finish it. Last on my list for this month is Savage Legion by Matt Wallace and this is his new uh, this is his new young adult fantasy epic fantasy and I bought this back in August and had just started reading so I just started reading a couple chapters and then I put it down for space opera September but I want to finish it, finish this one this month. That is my October TBR. If you have read any of these books and really like them, I would love to know about that. So please leave me some comments down below. Yeah, you all have a wonderful day. Bye.